Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance. Welcome to the Way to Grill Flatbread. Now what you just saw was the making of the dough. It's a relatively easy process. It takes about 10 minutes in the mixer, about an hour and a half in a bowl in a nice warm place to double in size. The yeast proofs, the dough fills with air, it becomes light and fluffy. Honestly, you can buy dough in a store in a refrigerated section, pizza dough, and use that, but I particularly like this recipe. It's a little lighter, a little fluffier, a little easier to work with on the grill. So if you've got the time, make it as, as I showed you. You can shape the dough into whatever design you like. Could be a circle, could be a triangle, could be a trapezoid, it's up to you. I've made these little rustic, uh, I guess, oblong shapes. And I want to make sure that there's a little bit of oil on both sides. I've got a nice medium fire here. I'm cooking over lump charcoal. This is really going back to fundamental, almost primitive cooking, you know. Back in the day, when there weren't a whole lot of other eating options, people would make, uh, you know, grind up some form of, of grain, mix it with water, cook it on a hot rock, and hey, that was dinner. Um, fortunately, things have evolved, including this recipe. But the idea remains the same. It's basic food and fire. The charcoal is really going to add some significant flavor to the bread. I mean, the charcoal is almost like an ingredient in this recipe. So you can see I've got a few down on the grate, and I just want to keep an eye on them. You can start to see they're going to turn a little bit golden around the edges. I'm going to keep the lid off for this so that I can watch them carefully. And whenever you're working with charcoal, you know, there's a little bit of variability in the heat. So you're going to have to do some swapping of positions, rotating. You can see that they're starting to bubble. That's the yeast working, and that gives you this nice, fluffy, light texture. And I'm basically just trying to toast them on both sides. I'm trying to get some nice golden brown color and a little bit of crispiness. To me, this is just great party food. This is the kind of thing that you can serve to your guests as they arrive at the barbecue. As they're done, as they get nice and crisp on the outside, you can move them over to indirect heat, keep them warm. It's about three minutes on each side. They're just so easy to do. You can do the spreads ahead of time as well. I'm serving these today with a blue cheese and walnut spread, a tomato and olive tapenade with a little goat cheese, and a roasted garlic and white bean spread. So make one, make two, make three. Have yourself a party. This is really basic, fun food. That, my friends, is the way to grill flatbread.